Hello everyone. Let's move to the continuation part of this chapter. And in this video, we are going to discuss about external procedure of public issue of equity shares. Let's see what is it. There is a lengthy internal and external procedure involved in the public issue of equity shares. So a lot of uh, procedures are involved while uh, issuing equity shares to the public. After SEBI became the capital market regulator, the external procedure becomes very complex and the responsibility fixed on financial intermediaries increased in severity. So after SEBI become the capital market regulator, regulator of uh, capital market, the external procedure that has become very complex uh, and uh, responsibility uh, for uh, financial intermediaries has increased. Though the company secretary is still the compliance officer, so though company secretary is responsible for looking after all the following of uh, regulations of CB, stock exchange and everything, but now responsibility for a specific procedure it is fixed on uh, various financial intermediaries. So we'll see who are those. Thus, the external procedure assumes greater significance than internal procedure. Internal procedures requires like uh, passing of a resolution, uh, holding a board meeting where uh, they they are going to take uh, uh, con consent from the shareholders, uh, members. Uh, uh, about issuing equity shares. So that is what internal procedure and external procedures that uh, now we are seeing that is appointment of merchant bankers. So we need to appoint merchant banker for uh, carrying the function of issuing uh, of equity shares. So let's see what is doing. According to SEBI rules 1992, a merchant banker is any person who is engaged in the business of issue management. Uh, so merchant banker means any person who is uh, taking care of uh, issuing of equity shares it is called as merchant banker. He is an expert in issue of corporate securities. He has also expertise in um, dealing with the SEBI and uh, its regulations. So he is expert. Uh, he has expertise in uh, dealing with SEBI regulations, uh, following the requirements of uh, SEBI while issuing equity shares. Regarding a public issue of equity shares, he takes the following steps that is advisory service. So merchant banker uh, advise of the company about, uh, he advise the company about timing, pricing and mode of securities. Preparation of basic documents. So he also prepares uh, uh, a draft prospectus containing uh, all the material details about the company and uh, he files it with the Securities Exchange Board of India at least 21 days before filing it with the Registrar of Companies. So, we need to prepare a draft prospectus or duplicate prospectus or uh, it's just a, form uh, what, a format or specimen of pro prospectus where all the information about the company is included. So after preparing that, he will file that uh, with the Securities Exchange Board of India before 21 days uh, filing it with the uh, register. Before filing with the register of companies, before 21 days he has to file that uh, draft prospectus with the Securities Exchange Board of India, with the SEBI. Then appointment of uh, other merchant bankers. So merchant banker need to appoint a merchant banker. So in case of more than one merchant banker, he advises the company uh, in appointing other merchant bankers. When the issue of issue size is bigger one, so that time uh, if he requires the service of other merchant banker, then he will uh, advise the company about uh, appointing another uh, merchant banker. In that case, uh, the main uh, merchant banker acts as a lead manager. So the merchant banker who is appointed at first, uh, then one more uh, merchant banker, it is, if, it is, if he is uh, appointed, then the uh, merchant banker who is appointed first is called as a lead manager. Preparation of other documents, like he also prepares many other uh, documents and later he files uh, uh, with uh, SEBI. That is a memorandum of understanding, MAU, 
memorandum of understanding is prepared it's a contract between the issuer company and the merchant banker which defines the rights duties and obligations of the merchant banker so uh, it's like uh, what uh, agreement which is made between uh, merchant banker and the company so that agreement uh, is uh, signed with a document that is called memorandum of understanding so which will contain or which will define the rights and duties and obligations of the merchant banker due diligence certificate so it is a document by which merchant banker declares it is a declaration certificate so where he is going to declare that he has uh, investigated about the information provided by the company and he is satisfied with the reliability of information so he is going to make a declaration that all the information provided by the company uh, has been uh, investigated by him and he is satisfied about its accuracy so that is going to be declared by the merchant banker he further declares that he has complied with all the sebi regulations and norms regarding public issue of equity share so he is going to again declare that he has followed all the sebi regulations uh, relating to issue of equity shares preparation and filing of final prospects so already he has prepared a draft prospectus where uh, it is filed with sebi so when sebi or uh, register of companies when it makes for uh, when it uh, suggests for uh, any corrections then later he makes uh, that changes in a draft prospect prospectus and he prepares a final prospectus so after sebi waits the draft prospectus and draft diligence uh, certificate he makes uh, it makes suggestions about additional information or clarification to be included in the final prospectus so after verifying it sebi and uh, uh, sebi it checks the prospectus and due diligence certificates and uh, if there is any correction required that is going to be suggested by it and uh, uh, after making uh, what uh, clarif what corrections uh, he will prepare final prospectus and uh, he will file it with the uh, sebi so it is a responsibility of the merchant banker to make these changes in the final prospectus and file it with sebi along with the final due diligence certificate so both these documents after making correction should be filed with the sebi then allocation of responsibilities so there are many responsibilities connected with the public issue if there are many merchant bankers the leading uh, merchant banker allocates the responsibilities among other merchant bankers so if there are many merchant bankers uh, the main merchant banker he is going to allocate the responsibility with another or with other merchant bankers this is done by, uh, by way of contract entered into by all the merchant bankers so this will ensure in fixing responsibility on a particular merchant banker if anything goes wrong with the public issue so if anything goes wrong with the public issue of equity shares so uh, because uh, here uh, responsibilities are allocated so that uh, will be getting to know who is responsible for the uh, mistake so that uh, it is easy for making uh, that mer merchant banker responsible for it for his act application to stock exchange it is compulsory for a company making a public issue to list its stock ex uh, shares in a stock exchange so it's it compulsory for all the company uh, to list their shares in a stock exchange when they go for uh, public issue listing is a process whereby companies shares are included in the trading list of uh, stock exchange because uh, only after this uh, process they will uh, these uh, shares will get transferability so so you cannot sell say a share to another person if it is not listed in a stock exchange so therefore an application should be made to one or more stock exchanges seeking permission to list the shares after the allotment the company should uh, declare uh, to comply with the regulations of stock exchange where the shares will be listed after allotment so where the shares are going to be uh, what uh, listed with that stock exchange uh, they need to make a uh, declaration that they'll follow all the regulations of uh, stock exchange then third uh, process is agreement uh, with the depository shares are allotted in two forms so that is uh, physical and uh, electronic form so in the electronic form shares are credited to the demat account of the applicants maintained with the depository so if there is a electronic form then shares are credited to the demat account of uh, the shareholder 
at present there are two depositories uh, in india first one that is uh, national securities depository limited nsdl promoted by national stock exchange central depository services limited promoted by bombay stock exchange so company need to make a agreement with these depository because demat account, account uh, will be maintained by these depo uh, depository if uh, shares are going to be uh, listed in a national stock exchange then uh, you have to make a uh, um what uh, agreement with uh, nsdl if it is uh, if shares are listed on bombay stock exchange then agreement should be made in uh, Cent central depository services limited n c c e t s l the issuing company should enter into agreements with the both depository for relating uh, shares in a uh, electronic form for easier settlement of transactions in the stock market the shares are to be held essentially in the dmart account because uh, uh, whenever you want to sell your shares immediately you can sell your shares uh, uh, to another person without uh, much time involved therefore the shares in the physical form cannot be sold in the stock exchange only the shares which are there in the electronic form which are there in a demat account that can be sold in a stock exchange appointment of underwriters so underwriter is a financial intermediary who guarantees the minimum subscription that means you guarantees the subscription of a certain quantity of shares so he is a person who guarantees minimum subscription for example company is going for issuing uh, one lakh uh, equity shares so underwriter is going to guarantee minimum uh, what equity shares for example uh, 30% so 30% of one lakh means is going to guarantee 30000 shares that means he is gu giving guarantee that 30000 shares will be purchased by the public if it is not purchased on the vele public purchase madade idre those shares will be purchased by the underwriter that is a guarantee he gives guarantee for minimum subscription if company is not getting minimum subscription company is not getting demand for uh, uh, minimum number of shares uh, then that shares will be purchased by the underwriter so if the public does not subscribe to this quantity underwriter purchases the required quantity the lead managers should assess the net worth and outstanding commitments of the underwriter and report to the sebi uh, about that uh, details so here he need to assess the net worth or he is going to assess the financial ability of a underwriter because he is guaranteeing that if the public is not subscribing that shares are purchased by him so to purchasing shares he should have some uh, what financial background so to assess that to evaluate that lead manager is going to Uh, evaluate uh, the underwriter in terms of finance then appointment of uh, registrar to issue traditionally registrar simply looked is going to look after uh, the correspondence relating to the issue of corporate securities but now he has an increasing role that is he performs the following functions like uh, arranging to print share application form so share application form to dispatch uh, to the banker so that uh, printing that way, that activity or that function will be carried by this uh, registrar to issue then he advises the company about appointing bankers to the issue so because uh, these application forms that are issued to the banker and banker is going to collect application money so for this purpose it uh, requires the service of banker so registrar to the issue is going to suggest a uh, suggest a company about appointing a uh, banker dispatching uh, the application forms to the brokers and bankers monitoring the subscription of shares once the issue opens and collecting information from bankers so then he passes this information to the company collecting the application forms once the subscription list is closed then tabulating the details allocating the shares in consultation with merchant banker the company stock exchange officials and sebi representatives so after getting a details uh, so how many for how many shares uh, that uh, application were received by analyzing that is going for uh, making allotment in consultation with uh, all these uh, officials 
then appointment of brokers brokers who are the members of a stock exchange they are appointed for marketing the issue each broker has thousands of clients so that application reach a large body of investors so broker has a contact of many investors so if you appoint uh, brokers then it is easy to reach your share to the investors the brokers constitute the marketing agents for the shares they are like marketing agents it is very important that brokers appointed should enjoy a credible image with a large body of investors so brokers who are appointed who should have a good image in the minds of the investors then only can get uh, uh, what uh, funds from the investors if he is not having a good image then definitely nobody will trust him uh, to invest in a company uh, which is suggested by him it is only the broker who have a direct contact with the investor natural naturally their recommendation is important for the success of public issue of new and unknown companies because new and unknown companies are not known to people so they are not they won't uh, trust in new companies so for such companies it is very important to appoint broker to issue the equity shares to public appointment of brokers as the company is not allowed to collect application money directly from the applicants banker should be appointed for collecting share application money that means share application money a separate bank account should be opened with each banker specifically for application money registrar to the issue helps the company in appointing bankers it should also be uh, ensured that branches of banks accepting application money are so widespread as to cover the investors of the entire country so they should ensure that uh, bank is having a branch all over the country so that uh, uh, citizen or the investor from any part of the country can uh, deposit or they can get application and application deposit application money with the bank appointment of advertising agency a lot of advertisement is needed for marketing the issue there are advertisement that are to be carried on through newspapers tv channels holdings etc that is depends on the financial strength of the company if uh, they are financially capable then they can go for newspaper or tv channels then uh, if uh, financial ability of a company is not good then they get, they can go for holdings there is also a legal requirement to give four different different advertisement in leading national newspapers that is advertisement announcing the public issue at least 10 days before the opening of the subscription list containing significant contents of the prospectus so they have to announce in a newspaper at least 10 days before opening the subscription list andre before that uh, before uh, issuing application to the public before 10 days they have to give advertisement in a newspaper about uh, the company uh, like uh, in a prospectus it contains information about the company so whatever the information that is there in a prospectus that information they have to include in a advertisement announcing the date of opening the subscription list on the date of opening so uh, if today is uh, they are going to open subscription list means from today you can apply for the share so that date on that date they have to give advertisement announcing the closure of subscription list on the last date of subscription for example to uh, after uh, means today is the 17th and after that on 27th if they are going to close the subscription then on 27th also they have to give advertisement informing that today is go- they are going to close the subscription list announcing the basis for allotment uh, the allotment uh, is being made after after the allotment on what ways allotment is made so that uh, information they have to announce in a newspaper is issue of shares so the procedure for issuing shares finally we come to the issuing procedure 
first they have to file prospectus with the sebi and register of companies and the stock exchange so with these uh, three uh, authorities they are going to file the prospectus then convening press conference or investors meet the issuing company can uh, need to convey convenes the press conference well in advance to announce to the public about the issue of equity shares so they have to inform public about issuing equity shares so that they have to arrange press conference in addition investors meet is arranged uh, in important cities and towns to interact with investors and clarify their reservations how much uh, uh, reservation that should be made for a, a specific investors so to clarify that they have to make a, a meeting with the investors dispatch of application forms registrar to the issue dispatches copies of prospectors and application forms and brochures to the bankers and brokers so Uh, public is going to collect these uh, prospectus along with the uh, applications along with the prospectus with the bankers or brokers opening of the subscription list after due announcement the subscription list is kept open the bankers accept the application forms along with application money during the period of subscription so uh bankers is going to collect application money along with the application form on the i mean during the period of subscription the subscription list should be kept open for a minimum 3 working days working day starts from monday to friday so in that 3 uh, days 3 working days minimum 3 working days subscription list should be kept open it cannot kept open for more than 10 working days so 10 working days that means 2 weeks in a week there will be 5 working days and uh, it should not uh, keep subscription list to open for more than 10 working days the bankers informed the bankers informs the register every day about the application receives received so is going to inform the registrar banker is going to inform the registrar that how much application money is received about that information is passed on to the registrar and registrar is going to pass that information to the company closure of subscription list after closure of subscription list the company announce it in a newspapers about such closure the bankers send the application form to the registrar to the issue whatever it is collected from what are the applications received from the public that is going to be transmitted to the registrar to issue then allotment of shares the registrar allots the shares in consultation with the issuing company stock exchange and sebi of issuer so registrar is going to look after about uh, allotting the shares what is the basis for allotment that is going to be decided in consultation with issuing company stock exchange and with the sebi officials so allotment letters refund orders share of certificates are share certificates are dispatched by the registrar of company so registrar to the issue okay so allotment letters to whom shares are allotted to them they are going to send uh, allotment letters and share certificates uh, and uh, the public to whom shares are not allotted uh, they for them refund orders are sent along with the application money share allotted in them shares allotted in dmat form are credited to the dmat accounts of the applicants uh, which is maintained through nsdl and cdsl listing of shares the company enters into an agreement with the stock exchange and uh, gets the shares listed the company should inform the sebi about actual listing of the shares so uh, the company need to enter listing agreement with the stock exchange uh, with whom shares are listed and they are going to sign the listing agreement which is all, they are already signed the listing agreement and they need to follow all the requirements uh, about that and 
they have to inform company has to inform the sebi about uh, how many shares are listed in a stock exchange so this is a procedure of external issue of public is external issue of equity shares external issue of equity shares thank you